Come have some fun and watch some games. Time to get crazy. It's night and day. Yeah. Night and day, back again. Back in the world of PVZ2, back in the far future. Let's dive in. Three levels left. Let's dive into the far future and see what it's got. Is it gonna be like Frozen Land? Whoa, didn't we just do this? Am I losing my mind? Never have more than 15 plants, spend no more than 2250 sun. What? <laughs> Did I do that last time? 5,000 sun, 16 plants. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so it's very similar. Very similar. Exit to the map. Back to the map. Oh god, exit to the ad. Exit to the top rated hotel in Daytona. Bye bye! So. I'm not losing my mind, it was just incredibly similar to the one we did last episode. Anyway, yes, okay, confusion over, dive into level start. So this time, instead of 16 plants, it's 15, and we cannot spend instead of we have to spend a ton. All right, all right. So is this one of these where we want regular sunflower again because we can't spend too much sun anyway? Mebaso, mebaso, but I yet do not know. Now we pick the plots. <laughs> so this is a limitation on how much sun you can spend, so we want the free guys. We want cheap and cost effective, but you also can't have more than 15, so it's a little bit of a strange combo. Uh, actually, since you can't have more than 15 at a time, we do want Twin Sunflower. Or the Bomb of Cherries. Nah, eh, let's try it. Let's try it like this. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Okay, this one could be... Oh, crap, you know what? I should have gotten Stalia. Okay, I should also plant my plants where I need them to actually be. All right, you shut up. You just sit still. Sit still. All right, so we want at least two twin sunflowers, and the rest are gonna be real plants. And we only want one twin sunflower, actually. Oh man, you cannot spend a lot of sun. Yeah, I should have brought Stalia instead. Start zapping. Come on, baby. Let's do that. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, we cannot have a lot of plants here. Here we go there. Nine plants and 1,300 sun left. So basically, we want a laser beam in every row, and then after that, it's a um, kind of touch and go. Come on, sun, please, sun. Thank you. Eight plants left. We still need a... Okay, you take a seat, please. And we need a bean in row three, and then we've got all of our beans covered. Good. That's not what you want to see. Uh, one more sun real quick. Not gonna get it. Alright, do this now. And there we go, zap zap. We did want that last laser beam in the last square before we did that zap zap. Six plants left. Still, you want to hold still. I guess they're about the same. Let's 
get this guy here. Bot Swarm again. We can spend a little tiny bit more. And this is again... Maybe that. Lightning Reeds. Alright, very good. So all the plants that we have, we cut right through the force fields. So the force fields don't be crap. We can do EMP, but I'm not sure that we need it right now. Everything is actually totally fine. We're gonna plant food, refresh. A lot of lovely little lightning. Alright, that guy's gonna hold still. Actually, holding him still is gonna make the lightning get out of range for the double hit. So, well, it only did for a second. 350 sun to spend, but I think we're actually, we don't need to spend any more. This should be good enough. Oh my... Hey, everybody's sleeping. Everybody is sleeping. Yep. So one EM peach takes care of all that. You can still spend 325 sun, so we're totally good. We can hold this guy still and take out his friend with some beanie beanie lasers. Beanie babies. Zap, refresh the shield, and zap pointlessly. Oh no. I could EMP you, but Iceberg Lettuce. When there's just one of you, Iceberg Lettuce is pretty good, baby. Night, night. It's gonna take you a while to get to beat it, but get to beat it, you shall. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Don't spend the sun. Laser beam, lightning read. Very nicely done. Usually I don't like Lightning Reed on the levels where you can't spend a lot of sun because Lightning Reed is super fun to mass. Uh, also, yeah, if you cannot have more than 15 plants, Lightning Reed is not the best there either. But you know what? We did it. We used it. It worked out. It was fine. It was just kind of a supplemental help to uh, pair a little bit of something with those wonderful, wonderful laser beans. Because with the force field guys, you know laser bean is pretty much what you've got to use. Two more levels. What do you got to offer for the future? <laughs> Survive while sun bombs fall. Okay. I am still concerned that the Dr. Zomboss boss fight is going to have sun bombs, and that's a big part of it. That could make things very difficult. All right, so no sun allowed. They do not have force field generators. They do have flying guys and dancing McGee's. All right, so our favorite new wall. <clears throat> and I think, yeah, since they don't have force field, I think we do want to mass the lightning reeds and see if we can get that going, because it's ever so much fun. Okay, that should work. That should work. So no sun plants it does mean we get an extra slot to kind of play around with. Alright, two flags, which is basically the equivalent of three flags. Alright, let's put you here. Boop. Boop. And here. Boop. It's hard to gauge how much sun we can get, so I brought generally cheap plants. You want to put our wall here so it can get good old, good old goodness. And eventually we want a citron in every row. Yeah, I'd rather have the sun than explosions right now, even with this guy in the field. Uh, 
we do want to stick on there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So we're trying for a far garden that has citrons and everything everywhere at once. Not sure that we'll be able to get that. Oh crap, Dancy McGee, you came in here at a bad time. Ah, oh, I let him summon. I got one of them. Alright, we're gonna do this now. That plant food effect will last forever. And we want more citrons. More citrons for the citron eaters. Boop, boop, boss form. This is not great. And put this here. And that citron goes there. This goes here. Alright, clover time, I guess. And peach time for sure. Okay, we want more citrons, but we don't have mm, sun for it. Okay, I'm gonna try and take this guy out with lava guava. And I don't want him pushing. We have a very particular little setup here. There we go. Push, push, pushy McGee. Alright, let's do this plus this plus. Oh, we don't have to do that anymore. Okay. But we should blow her. <laughs> yeah, that was getting hairy. That was getting hairy. Hey, uh, money from pennies from heaven. Alright, can we EMP sh multiple guys? Yes, we can. That's very good. Okay, no. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Citron. Yes. Alright, let's plant food affect the citrons. There's a lot of big heavy hitters in there that they can get. Perfect. Use the sun bomb for the first time in a while. And we need one citron there. Oh, we don't have enough sun for it. Oh boy, things are getting hairy. Uh, like this. And peach here. Everybody's sleeping and we win. Hey, I can put my last citron in finally, even though we're at the end of the level and no longer matters. Ha ha! Oh, we're gonna lava guava you. Here, lava guava, you can hang out there. <laughs> That's what was about to happen. Didn't matter. So, yeah, okay. Our plan worked out. We had kind of just enough sun to make it pay off. So we picked one cheap attacking plant, one expensive attacking plant. You know, the usual. And with those freaking power tiles, that was enough. Power tiles are so good, and with Tile Turnip, you can create one wherever you want on any level you want. So you don't have to just be in Far Future, you can make your own power tiles in any world. But similar to Gold Leaf, you have to have enough extra sun to do that twice before it pays off at all. I'm not really sure if the refresh is fast, then maybe it's possible to throw down two on your twin sunflowers and get a boost, a plant food effect on your twin sunflowers, that could be really good and it might pay for itself, but then that's a whole lot of plants going on before any real defense. So you have to find a way to slot that into the middle of a level. You can't obviously start out with twin sunflower, twin sunflower, tile turnip, tile turnip, before you plant the slightest defense. Get out of here. Get out of your advertisement. Yeah, see, some of these you have to click the ad before that timer in the upper right will actually tick down. Kind of annoying, 
but not as bad as those crazy earlier ones. The TikTok attack ones that just came every single episode, every single level without remorse. Can I not scroll farther? I can't. Okay, so you're just gonna stay on the edge of the screen. All right, Dr. Zomboss boss fight for the far future. That's excellent. I've never seen this one before. Totally new. Let's see how it goes, baby. What you got, zombie baby? Zombie in Boston. Zombies from Boston. Isn't it convenient that your neighbor is so helpful in your fight against the zombies? Crazy David's apparent incompetence is only eclipsed by his usefulness. However, with one secret word, my sleeper agent will turn against you. Listen to me, David. Hypnosomnosis. 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 Hey, neighbor. Can I borrow your brains? Oh, uh, I mean hot sauce. While that would be potentially funny, it can't actually be how the plot changes, unless we were in the final, final world, and then Crazy Dave could be the final, final boss. That would be a really cool plot twist. Alright, laser beam. Well. There we go, laser beam. Oh, you're gonna do that immediately, huh? Alright, I'm gonna have to blow over you. Okay, yeah, power tiles are great, but... I need plants that can attack. You've given me Citron and Laser Bean. And what? Okay. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a good that was a good start. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to win. Alright, we'll blow over to get these guys out. Okay, so we had to use up all our lawnmowers at the beginning. Feeling good about that. Let's do that. Oh, already? Okay. That could help. When you do that, do you also destroy the power tile? Or just the plant that's there? No one will ever know. Okay, well now they're gonna get the bottom two lawnmowers. We can do this and this. Um, let's do that and that and that. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Trying to recover. Let's get some offense and defense in more. There we go. Oops. Okay, we kind of have to wait for this to explode arena. It does destroy the power tile too. You son of a monkey. Alright, so we need one more laser beam. Nope, might not get it. Alright, let's refresh and do that. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Alrighty, let's do that again, because we're full of plant food. They are giving us a heck of a lot of plant food. Alright, so laser beams are actually better the plant food and citrons. I don't know if I should use any of this or save it because he's freaking... Yeah, that's bad. Everybody blast. That's so sick. Oh, it doesn't kill... Okay. Let's go for that style then. How about that? Pretty sick. 
pretty good. Oops, they're getting through. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Alright, even Gargantuar has to go through. I will save one of you. And we'll save like that. Okay, so it took a while to get to this point. But now that we're here, they are having a heck of a time trying to get through this. Oh, fire, baby! Lasers fry him up! Whole screen. Oh, hey, Pushy. The Pushy McPusher sent. No, he got zapped before he could push anywhere, guys. Out. And again. So this Dr. Zomboss went back to the crawly, crawly launcher guy. Oh, crap. Uh, fire. Get rid of these guys. Thank you. We don't want to be pushed all the way to heck and dick. Do that. Oh, let's not do that. Let's get... Oh, we got him. Okay, great. <laughs> Alright, so that beginning was crazy. They took out our lawnmowers and we got mostly power tiles. We really didn't have enough plants to actually fend those guys off. I mean, if you get citrons early, then that takes care of that no problem. We did not get citrons early. Yeah. So they took out our top three lawnmowers really fast, but then after you start building up, if you once you get the power tiles plus the laser beams in every single combin in every single row, they seem to give you more than enough plant food. Or we just got lucky. After I well you couldn't call that beginning lucky. But anyway. Oh, that was hypno amazing! I want to eat that Hypnotago again! I need my time machine! Wait. What? Wait a minute. What was I saying again? So wait, was he hypnotized? Was he not? Hypnosomnosis! Hypnosomnosis! Drop. Or was it somno-hypnosis? Somno-hypsosis? So yeah, he went right back to the original kind of Dr. Zomboss boss machine. And I think because this level was actually made before Frostbite Caves in Lost City, they might have had all the original Dr. Zomboss boss machines be just that style with a reskin. I don't think he charged us this level. He probably can, but if he tried, then he got smacked from the lasers, because we had quite a lot of success zappity zapping everything on the screen and making that happen in a nice, nice, happy way. So let's see. Dark Ages has been unlocked. Bring out your own dead to the year 948. Harvest mushrooms in the dark of night. Hey, that's the way you spell night, baby. And get medieval on zombies from the days of yore. Get medieval on there. Zombari. All right. So, we can hit continue, we can go to the ads, or the travelogue, or the car club tire and auto repair services. Dark Ages. Yeah, so the mushrooms are alive and well in Dark Ages, which we will dive into next episode. But, the mushrooms in this game don't have to be nighttime only plants. They did not make really nighttime only levels. The Dark Ages is nighttime only, but all the plants work in it and the mushrooms work in all of the levels. I did mess around with Dark Ages before, because it did exist before. Oh, all right, beat the Dr. Zomboss boss fight, so we get a prize. Oh, only 500. Man, they don't even give a thousand for the boss clears anymore. Only two? Come on. The Dr. Zomboss pinatas should be, you know, better stuff. I mean, it's better than 102 seeds. 100 gold and 2 seeds, but... 500 gold and 6 seeds is not that much better. Eh, 508. 
500 gold, 8 seeds. It really should be 1,000. I mean, 1,000 gold isn't that much anyway. Alright, 10 seeds. Alright, get in there. Blow who's so cute in this game is so cute. Alright, 12 seeds. 12 seeds, baby. Never mind, 14 seeds. Alright, two of every plant in the freaking world is good. Better than I was thinking. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 and boom. But yeah, the last level, the Dr. Zombos boss fight, did not have uh, sun bombs. It had power tiles, and power tiles, just, just, just amazing. It works great in the player's favor. In fact, I might want to try it again right now, because that was fun. I might want to see if I got super lucky or what. Okay, well, we ran into a little bit of a problem last episode with the audio. So, for some of the levels, the game audio didn't record correctly. I tried to kind of mix and match and find something that matched a little bit to uh, put some game audio in there. You can't mash it up 100% because you're planting plants in different orders, so nothing's going to be an exact match. But I tried to find something that was close enough so that there would still be some sort of audio that was relevant. But, um, yeah, the audio for the Dr. Zomboss boss fight, there's nothing really that you can match up with that. So I'm going to do the fight again. I wanted to do it again anyway. So, um, yeah, let's dive in and try it again. There we go. Good old technical difficulties. Good old technical difficulties. Oh, I guess I shouldn't plant these in case he decides to send out the nukes. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Let's try to launch that early. Keep a plant. Keep a plant. And now let's fire everything. So we have to keep our plant, but the beginning of this level does seem like there's a little bit of dependence on getting those actual attacking plants and not just getting infinite walls. This is the first you can get a lot of these wonderful, wonderful little friends. And that's great. <laughs> because the power tiles just completely dominate. But if you get only power tiles at the very beginning, then obviously <laughs> that doesn't help you versus the first zombie whores. But this will. Let's zap everybody down. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful pleasure having you guys on the team and stunning the boss of zombies as we go, as we go. So we want one laser beam on all the relevant power teals. Oh, it's so nice, it's so nice. Oh, we're full of plant food already? Yeah, this level seems a little bit easier than most for the bosses. At least that was the feeling that I got. Let's uh, give you guys a little bit of excitement and fun. That's okay, we kind of wanted a laser beam in that slot anyway. The laser beam plant food is better overall. What did you just zap there? Nothing? Okay, I'll take it. 
And a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. And try to shoot again. Time for the big guns, baby. Yeah, it just... <laughs> Lasers! Fireballs! Electricity everywhere! Everything! See you later, you toast! You just toast. Alright. Yeah, even the Gargantuars can't stand up to it. Can't stand up to it. Boop. Boop. Now let's send them all flying slash packing. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. And pretty much just plant through the whole world. See you later, everything. Fire. Hold nothing back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure my uh, first impression on this one was right. This Dr. Zomboss fight is just easier than the other ones because of the power tiles. So you just have to survive that beginning based on luck of you actually get enough attacking plants to handle the first few zombies. And as soon as you have that done, in this case, we did the early lawnmower launcher. But yeah, as soon as you handle the first few zombies... The rest is not really a problem because the power tiles are so broken and they give you so many and a lot of plant food. Yeah, it just wrecks everything that he can throw at you. The Gargantuars don't last long, the giant football helmets get taken out fast, and Dr. Zavos himself is taking damage the whole time, unlike most of the other ones where you've got to go and kind of work your way through all of his minions first. In this one, you've got a bunch of lasers just constantly hitting him. So, overall, easier fight, but still probably more fun than most of them, or possibly the most fun out of all of them, because the power tiles just let you go crazy. Zapping, zapping away. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. We'll see you guys next time as we dive into the Dark Ages. It's a super fun world, a lot of fun favorites from PvZ1 making their return with the mushrooms. And, of course, there's going to be new plants as well and new zombies and stuff that I haven't even seen yet that I want to experience. So, hope to see you guys next time for the Dark Ages. Take them out, baby. Who's going to eat it first? Conehead or Buckethead? Whoa. I don't think it matters. <laughs>